Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hemp Horticulture Series. Today, we'll be showing you how a hydroponic drip system works. A drip system is probably the most boring of all the active hydroponic systems available since it works exactly the same way as a drip system with soil, but with hydroponic nutrients. However, this tried and true method is so widely known because of how easy it is to set up and the efficiency it provides. Not to mention that scaling it to a commercial level is a breeze due to its simple design. There are two types of drip systems available recirculating and non-recirculating. Recirculating means that the runoff from the drip system is collected to be used again, making this a very eco-friendly option. However, as the nutrient water constantly cycles through the grow medium and the roots, the amount of nutrients in the water, as well as possibly the pH of the water, could shift over time, requiring testing, recalibration, and possibly switching out the nutrient water periodically to ensure that nothing drifts too far. As for a non-recirculating setup, the runoff from the drip system is not recaptured and is left to drain away. But as long as the drip system is fine-tuned to allow only enough nutrient water to saturate the grow medium and to turn off at the first signs of water runoff, this is still able to conserve water surprisingly well without the hassle of having to build something to recollect and tune the runoff. Both systems work well because they take a traditional hand water system and just automates it with minimal parts. A nutrient water reservoir, water pump, and some tubing is all that is needed for as many plants as the pump can handle. Each time the pump turns on, it pumps water from the nutrient water reservoir, which drips it over the plants. The water goes through the grow medium, saturating it, and once it's completely saturated, the excess water is drained or recollected for reuse or if there is no grow medium used, the water will pass right through the roots before it drains. Although I don't recommend not using a grow medium as the exposed roots have nothing to protect it from temperature variations or from a drought due to a clog in the water pump or a power outage. And since the pump timers can run as often as you want, this works for pretty much any grow medium, with the use of frequent watering times for grow mediums that hold little to no water, like river rocks or perlite, to infrequently watering, just once a day or less, for grow mediums such as coco coir and peat moss that can retain a lot more water. Scaling the system larger is easy as you just have to add more drip lines to accommodate new plants and use a larger water pump and water reservoir if there isn't enough to feed them all. The drawback for this type of system is that because drip holes and drip emitters have a small opening, they're prone to clogging with prolonged use so need to be checked often to ensure that they're working properly. Power outages and water pump failures are also an issue, although this type of system is much more forgiving, as it's easy to switch to hand watering when needed and then switch it back to the drip system once the power is back on or the pump is fixed. So overall, for grow setups looking to grow multiple plants in a soilless grow medium, this is a good option to consider. Although if you're growing only one or two plants, then a drip system might not be as simple to set up and maintain as some other hydroponic systems. 
and that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.